Welcome everyone, Dr. Luigi here. The glucose tolerance test measures the body's response to glucose, which is a type of sugar. It can be used to screen for type 2 diabetes. This test assesses the ability of your body to metabolize glucose and identifies abnormalities. So what the test involves? You can eat and drink normally in the days leading up to the glucose tolerance test. However, it is important that you don't eat or drink anything other than some water for 8 hours before the test. This could be done by fasting overnight and scheduling the test for early the following morning. When you arrive at the clinic for the test, a healthcare professional takes a blood sample from a vein in your arm, which is used to measure your fasting blood glucose level. Let the clinician know if you are ill or you are taking any medication, because they can affect the test results. Often, a glucose tolerance test is done for type 2 diabetes screening. If this is your case, you will drink around 8 ounces of a syrupy glucose solution, which equals to about 237 ml. The solution contains 2.6 ounces of sugar, which equals to 75 grams. One, two and three hours later, blood glucose level is measured again after you drink the solution. You can return to your usual activities after the glucose tolerance test. Ok, let's see how to interpret the glucose tolerance test results. I just want to point out that depending where you live, the values are expressed with different units. I have included here both of them. Ok? So, the values for type 2 diabetes testing, two hours after drinking the glucose solution, are as follows. Lower than 140 mg per deciliter, which equals to 7.8 millimoles per liter, are considered normal. While Values between 140 and 199 mg per deciliter, which equals to 7.8 and 11 millimoles per liter, are considered impaired tolerance. If the values are higher than 200 mg per deciliter, which equals to more than 1.1 millimoles per liter, these values may indicate diabetes. If the glucose tolerance test results indicate type 2 diabetes, the doctor may repeat the test on another day or use another blood test in order to confirm the diagnosis. This is because factors such as medication, illness and activity level can affect the accuracy of the glucose tolerance test. If after retesting pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes is confirmed, it is extremely important to act promptly and the main options are conventional medicine or integrative medicine. Let's see what they involve, ok? Conventional medicine is essentially based on medication. Different types of drugs can be prescribed for type 2 diabetes, but they have limitations because they do not treat the root cause of the disease, but only the symptoms. Over time, increasing greater amount of these drugs is usually required increasing the number and severity of the daily side effects. In contrast, integrative medicine aims at treating the root cause of disease, 
and not only the symptoms. In this approach, the different factors that influence the body functions, wellness, health, and disease are taken into account, and the multidisciplinary method is implemented in order to facilitate the body's innate healing ability. Moreover, the most efficacious interventions that are natural and less invasive are selected and used whenever possible. The intervention for treating type 2 diabetes usually include improving nutrition and body weight, increase physical activity, and reduce stress. The diet can be improved by avoiding junk food, such as cookies, french fries, seeds oil, sugary drinks, cakes, pastries, and any similar calorie-rich, nutrient-poor, processed food. Instead, consume food such as fish, lean meat, and fresh fruit and vegetables. Regular physical activity is critical for preventing disease and promoting health. Walking is sometimes overlooked as a form of exercise. However, at least 30 to 60 minutes of daily walking represent a good way to improve or maintain your health and fitness. All the forms of physical activity include running, cycling, or swimming. Decreasing caffeine intake, listening to soothing music, and spending time outdoor in parks help relax and relieve stress. In many instances, this approach is sufficient to improve or even reverse diabetes, and only in some cases medication is required. In addition to improve glucose metabolism and helping prevent diabetes, these integrative medicine interventions also help lose weight and improve physical and mental well-being. Please share this video with your family and friends and leave your comments below. Take control of your wellness and make it a great day.